Hey, this is Dato Fast here, and in this video, I will show you how to replace the rear wheel hub assembly, the wheel bearing at the back. And what I've noticed is, um, started about a month ago, the back of the car, uh, you can hear this really uh, loud uh, groaning sound when you hit about 45, 50 miles an hour. And it's kind of gotten louder over the last uh, several days. So I'm going to go ahead and replace the uh, wheel bearing on this. Now this vehicle does have 106,000 miles. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to go ahead and replace both sides. And the reason for that is because even if the problem is only one side, having this type of mileage, uh, most likely the other side is going to go maybe in the next six months, seven months. So that's what I'm going to do. Now some people ask, you know, Whenever you have a wheel bearing problem, should you re always replace both sides? And that really depends. <clears throat> if your vehicle is low mileage, um, I would definitely replace only the, the, the one that is having a problem. Um, the other thing is that if you're going to be paying someone to do this, I also recommend that you only fix the side that's broken. But if you're doing it yourself and the mileage on your vehicle is high, then since you're going to be getting all this stuff set up, tools and everything, you might as well just go ahead and do two because like my vehicle, um, the, the mileage is up there, you know, the wheel bearing is probably going to have some wear and tear on it, so uh, I'm just going to go ahead and do it all in one shot, so anyways, uh, let's get started. So the first thing is to jack up the car and put on the jack stand. If you come around to the back, you'll see two 19 millimeter bolts holding down the uh, caliper and keeping the rotor from coming off. So there's a top one and there's another one down below. Go ahead and pull the uh, caliper assembly off and just carefully set it aside so you don't stress the, uh, the brake line here. So at this point, you should be able to remove the rotor. If, if you're stuck on a little bit, just get a mallet and just give a few taps, it should come off. Now if you go around to the back, you'll find a wire, as you see here. This attaches to an ABS sensor. Okay. And this ABS sensor has a bolt that's 12 millimeter. Go ahead and uh, remove that bolt so you can remove the ABS sensor. Now we can carefully pull the ABS sensor out. So here it is. Just put it aside. Make sure you don't damage it. You'll see these four bolts. These four bolts you see here is what's holding the uh, wheel hub assembly. So these are 17 millimeter. And go ahead and remove those. And of course, you know, you don't have to use impact. These ones you can knock it out with your hand. This one, I can't fit a um, impact here, so I'm just gonna use a regular ratchet here. So 
So with the bolts removed, this unit comes right off. Um, I just want to point out about the ABS sensor. Some of you watching this might wonder, well, why do you need to take it out? Because it doesn't interfere with the hub assembly uh, being removed. But I just want to be extra safe. And also, because the four bolt is above and, and below that area, uh, I just didn't want to take any chance, so I went ahead and take that bolt off. It takes less than a minute. Remove it, set it aside, so you don't risk damaging anything. The replacement bearing I'm going to use is uh, Timken part number HA590109. And there's a box for it inside. This is the bearing. Timken is a great company. They make great uh, wheel bearings. So let me take a moment to show you the old wheel bearing that I took out. And just have a listen. I hope you're able to hear that grinding sound. And here's a new one. I want to show you that because some people say, you know, you can uh, tug on the wheel at the, I think it's like 9 o'clock and 3 o'clock position or 12 and 6 position and see if it wiggles. None of the uh, wheel that uh, I checked had that play in it. I'm sure if you drive long enough, you'll, you'll start getting that wobbly um, looseness because of where the bearing is wearing out really bad. But uh, I had a lot of noise and there weren't any play when you wiggle the wheel. So I just want to show you that you can actually hear the grinding sound. Uh, if you want, you can get some uh, brake clean and just clean the surface a little bit. Now on the uh, wheel bearing, you'll notice that the, there's one side with a notch here. If I turn to the bottom, you don't see that notch. The one with the notch faces upwards. Install this, and then we'll put the bolt back on at the back. The next thing is to tighten those bolts at the back. The uh, factory service uh, manual asks for 44 foot-pounds, and that's why I have here a torque wrench. I'll go ahead and uh, torque the back uh, four bolts to 44 foot-pounds. The next thing is we'll reinstall the ABS sensor. And before installing the uh, bolt for the ABS sensor, I'm just going to put a light coat of uh, antices, just a little bit, so in the future, make sure it doesn't get seized. Now you can put your rotor back on. And then now you can reinstall the caliper.
For the torque member bolts that's holding the uh, caliper bracket on the back, you need to torque that to 62 foot pounds. Now you put the wheel back on. So there you go. This is the uh, how-to on replacing the rear wheel bearing hub assembly on this Nissan Quest. Now I did do another uh, more of a picture tutorial on doing the front uh, wheel bearing uh, hub assembly. I will uh, put a link to that near the end of the video. So if you want to look at the front one, um, just click on that. But anyways, I hope you uh, enjoyed watching this video. If you have any questions, uh, leave me a comment below. Alright, thank you. Bye.